It's always sunny in Philadelphia, season 3, episode 14. Bombs making a mess all over the place. Here we go, man. Let's go. Okay. That's what he wants. He wants an audience. Oh my god. There's a masturbating bum in the alley. He's masturbating. Oh. Masturbating bums are bad for business. Yeah. Well, he's gonna rip it off one of these days. It's disgusting. Yeah. There is a deteriorating situation here, and we gotta do something about it. A really mean, Whoa. nasty junkyard dog will chain him up in the alley, will scare away the bums. I think we should make this whole neighborhood safe again, yeah. right? Yeah. I like the junkyard dog idea. Uh, quick question about the uniform situation. I'm wondering if the tailor is provided for us or I'm left to my own devices. Will you be providing the weapons? No. We go buy the weapons. We tell you how much we spent. You reimburse us. Great. We don't carry weapons. We're just a neighborhood watch. If we see anything suspicious, we call the police. You, sir, have wasted my time and the time of my associate. Uh, where am I finding your junkyard dogs? My what? I don't think anyone owns junkyard dogs. It's just do stray dogs that hang out in the junkyard, yeah? Got a cat around here somewhere. Cat! And believe me, that's a tough cat. He was born in a pool of gasoline. I've seen that cat jump through barbed wire into a vat of hot tar. I want to see this fucking cat now. I wouldn't mind taking a look at that cat. Okay. Yeah. Is that a cop car? If we parked that in front of Patty's. No problems, period. We'll take it. And throw in that cat. Hey, this guy's not the problem, all right? This guy's not the problem. You're the problem. Why are we stopped? It's a red light. We're in a cop car. We're in a cop car, dude. Make her sing. <laughs> Having a day where you just ride around in a cop car without getting in trouble would be really fun. We look awesome. Throw that on. I'm not putting on a beret. Gotta wear the beret. It's the Guardian Angels wore the same exact outfit when they cleaned up the streets of New York City in the 1970s. Fear is power, D. Mm. Don't you get that? It's like a drug. I'm not gonna hit anybody. That's the best part about fear and intimidation, D. What do you think about these suspenders? All right, you ready? Those are nice outfits, though. He's gonna see me with the bat, looking tough. He's gone. That's all you need to do when you look like a badass, D. He's smiling at me. All right, give me the bat. I am not... For you to talk, you're rotten pecker ass. I don't want to see you or your dirty balls in my alley again. That was awesome. Okay, that was. But next time, just don't take my bat. I've, I've noticed about Mark is like, like he he talks a big game, but when it comes to confrontations, he kinda he kinda chickens out, yeah. He does that, man. He did it in a. I can't remember where I saw that. Maybe it's not in confrontational situations, but. He tends to, you know, get overwhelmed in, in pressure situations like that, man. Charlie, these things cost me a pretty penny. You shit me? You didn't get me one? Hey. Charlie, you can't have three guys dressed in cop suits in the front seat of a cop car. Well, who's Agent Bauer? <sighs> Do not refer to him as a junkyard cat. He has a name. Agent Jack Bauer. 24. Just put, throw Charlie in, in the fucking cop car and let him play the role of a burglar. He can be the guy you arrested. Charlie! You can be disguised as an undercover cop in the backseat. Oh, that is such a good idea. Yeah. All right, let's get you back to CTU, Agent Bauer. Over here, pal. Hey, you fellas hungry? Couple of my best dogs on the house. That sounds like the move. Yeah. Hey, what did this guy do? Oh, this guy, oh, we caught him diddling kids over the playground. These what? uniforms are gonna pay for themselves oh, 10 God. times Frank. over. Dude, I'm gonna become Al Pacino and Serpico. Uh, yeah, nobody be Al Pacino and Serpico. I need to watch that movie, man. I need to watch Sapico. Here you go, boys. You keep up the good work. Alrighty, thanks, pal. Do you have to take that cat everywhere we go? We're not getting rid of the cat, and there's nothing you guys can do about it because the cat outranks you. This guy's a special agent. You a special agent? This guy is jaywalking. Huh? Take it easy, Charlie. Take it easy. Charlie's going to ruin the whole thing, man. He's going to ruin it for the other guys who have uniform, man. Stop for a second! You like just crossing the street whenever you want, making up your own laws? Are you gonna give Sorry, me a ticket? On. That depends on how much money you got in your wallet. Do I look like I'm yeah, smiling? Are we smiling over here? Are we smiling? Put an egg in your shoe and beat it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't take your cut, Charlie. How do we know how to trust you? That's dirty money! I'm not doing that stupid voice. What are you doing? <laughs> I told you I was gonna do Pacino. Yeah, but you sound like an asshole. I'm not walking! Well, oh, you're I'm... gonna do Christopher Walken now? No, I'm not doing Christopher Walken. I'm walking from the I don't situation. Know what you, want. you guys are crooked cops! I don't like it. My partner and I have been cleaning up the streets the past couple days. 
Is that right? You guys can't get your hands dirty, but my partner and I, we're not afraid of that. If you could fast track us through like a citizen deputy type program. Yeah, and you know, toss us a couple of badges. You know what? I'm fresh out of badges. I sense your sarcasm. I'm used to it. We are sticking our necks out for you guys and frankly, doing your job better than you are. I do know of a neighborhood that could use your help. Perfect. These two guardian angels would love to help you clean up your beat. Oh, shit. Okay. We are in a lower socioeconomic yes. African American neighborhood. Yes, we that's, are, okay. But that's okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Damn. Dude, D has been smacked so much in this show, man. Hey, that was no, we're gonna All die right, let's get out today. of here as quickly as possible. Stay safe. Let's ask him. He seems nice. Okay. Oh, thank God oh. we found you. We are in a very rough neighborhood and we are lost. Yeah. So, this guy to them is safer than that guy sitting on that rocking chair reading. That old black guy. <laughs> They've been loitering on this corner for the last 20 minutes like you own the goddamn place. I will jam you up so hard, I will jam you from morning until night. You want to get jammed up? Give me that wallet. Here. Time to hit the ATM, huh? I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but no more free hot dogs. It's you, your partner, and now I'm feeding your cat. You won't cough up the hot dogs. What? This goddamn cat is screwing up everything. Either the cat or me. Okay, I choose the cat. All right, then I'm taking the badge. Oh. Hey, I bought that badge. I bought this uniform, and I bought that cop car. Your days as a cop in this town are over. <laughs> He's investigating dirty cops now. Is that what? Is that what? Uh, Pacino does in Serpico. Is that what his character does? He's like uh, an undercover cop investigating other dirty cops. Because I'm sure they're, they're doing something with that here. Dirty hell all over town. And I'm going to clean it up. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. What's with the cat? Don't start in on the cat. I swear to God, I will jam you into the middle of next week. Do you understand what we're saying to you? Not really. Calm down, dude. Everything was going great, but then it got to Frank's head, and he squeezed me out. Yeah, this is doing a voice. I don't know. <laughs> Whose voice is he doing, man? You two have not begun to feel the power and respect that you get when you are cruising around in a cop car. We gotta get rid of Frank. We gotta get our hands on that cop car. Cop car. Frank's got beef with a certain hot dog vendor. We could put the frame on Frank, really get him into some trouble, right, Jack? Bingo! Yeah, all right, stop playing with your stupid tape recorder and go clean those bathrooms. <laughs> that right there is a tale of corruption and intrigue, the likes of which are gonna rock this city. Sir, I do not have time to listen to your mixtape. Gonna listen to this tape or not? No, I am not. Yeah, I get it! Everybody's a cookie cop, huh? You wanna come and serve me? This is the second time we are seeing Charlie do a, a Pacino. He must love Pacino. This is the second time we are seeing him do a Pacino uh, impersonation, man. He did the Attica, Attica. I was doing the Sapico. I don't know if Pacino does this in Sapico, but he's impersonating him here, man. We really got to do something about these homeless people. He's really loving this Molotov cocktail. <laughs> oh, there, Jack. That's not a toy. He's got a thing for gasoline. He was born in a pool of it. I hope you guys don't mind if I borrow this. Whoa, 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 Charlie, what are you doing? We were supposed to care about justice, and it got to your head! And I doused the whole car full of gasoline. What? What? Damn, Jack Bauer is, is really indestructible, huh? Jack Bauer, you really are the man. Yo, Charlie spelled mayor. For the mayor. And I'm sure that's a hard too. Okay, Mr. Mayor, feast your ears on that spin doctor's mix. I wonder how accurate they were to Sapiko here. I bet they were, man. But I haven't seen Sapiko. I need to watch it. It's been on my list forever. Jack Bauer, man, indestructible. The indestructible Jack Bauer. Man, uh, I watched uh, 24 probably more than 10 years ago, I think. Yeah, it's been that long. I can't even. I just. It was really. It's a really good show. If you haven't seen Twenty Four, give it a check. It out. Really good, man. I can't remember if Jack Bauer just like regularly escaped near dead cities. I think. I think he did. I think he did. That's what they were doing with the cat there. Nine lives. The nine lives of Jack Bauer. Huh? Nine lives of Jack Bauer. Dude, just the indestructible. Born in a pool of gasoline. <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, bombs are leaving a mess all over the city, man. You don't see this a lot here. You know, people just jacking off uh, in broad daylight, man. It's really taboo, man. It's weird. Really, really weird. Even the homeless guys that I've seen, I've never seen one jacking off, man. Maybe that's just me, though. Jacking off in public, but... But the drill for them is the audience. If you give them an audience, it gets them going even more. You need to just uh, ignore them. Or laugh at them. Ridicule them. Shame them. But standing there in, uh, in, in disgust, like, oh my god, look at that guy. What is he doing? I think they enjoy that aspect of it. I think that's part of the drill. There you go, man. That was episode uh, 14. Like, subscribe, share. See you guys in the next one. Peace.